But let's go on. I want to cover a series of terms. And so basically, just to help you get acquainted with uh, broadcast engineering, and so you can add them to your knowledge base and understand a whole lot more about broadcast electronics, broadcast engineering. So I'm just going to start with the A's. And we're going to start with the ADC. ADC stands for analog to digital converter. Now let's talk about the difference. Analog is an electronic signal that is exactly related to whatever the pickup source was. If it was analog audio, then you would see the signal go high when the sound was, was high and the signal go low. And so as the compressions and rarefications of the air molecules that were hitting a particular microphone uh, caused the diaphragm on that microphone to move in and out, the actual electronic signal would be varying with that microphone motion, the motion inside the microphone. And that was analog. Analog was a direct representation of whatever the pickup device was. Digital, on the other hand, you usually start a digital signal with an analog signal. So if I have analog audio and I want to turn it into digital, then what I have to do is take that waveform of that analog audio and I then sample it at very specific points of time. And as I'm sampling that, I then turn that, that amplitude, whatever the height is of that signal or the, the lowness of the signal, or the highness of the signal, is turned into a, a point, there's a point there that's sampling that signal to see how high or how low it is. And then that particular point is assigned a numerical value, a digital value in ones and zeros. And so what we do is we take a sample and then we have a number, a, a, a binary number generated by that point. We go down in time a little bit, we take another sample, there's another binary number. We go again and we actually take another sample and there's another binary number. And so what happens is this analog signal is actually turned into a stream of binary numbers, ones and zeros, that when reconstructed at the other end of reception, when it's received, can be turned into an analog signal again to drive a speaker. And the same principle applies for video, okay? But so basically, that's a rough explanation of what analog is and what digital is, okay? And if we have something called an ADC, that means an analog to digital converter. It's converting the analog signal into a digital bit stream, okay? And so that's what's happening with the ADC. Now they have the opposite, which is called a DAC, which stands for digital to analog converter. And an ADC then, then takes the analog, goes to digital. The DAC takes the digital and goes to analog. That's very common today because most of our transmission systems are digital. And so we do get analog sources and we have to convert them into our digital world so they can be part of our infrastructure when we're forming a uh, television platform when we want to have a network or if we want to have a uh, electronic infrastructure in a in a TV studio or something and all your cameras are analog and your switchers digital then you have to convert all your cameras analog signals into the digital signals or if you have a monitor that takes a analog input and you don't have an analog output you have to take a digital to analog converter so the monitor can work and so that's that's happening all over the place now more and more everything is going fully digital, but still there's an important need for ADCs, analog to digital converters, and DACs, digital to analog converters. 